Dear students and friends, welcome back to my session on SOLIDWORKS in 21 days. We are in day 7. Now, in today's session, we will see about the assembly, the basics of assembly and uh, uh, we will assemble a 4 bar mechanism. Okay, a 4 bar mechanism. 4 bar mechanism means, uh, mm, you know that uh, probably if you are an engineer uh, you used a uh, mini drafter right the mini drafter has two sets of four bar mechanisms okay so it will be one arm is fixed with the board okay using a clamp that is one set the other set is the other one right so it has a two four bar mechanism set we'll do that so in assembly basic i already told you in the case of assembly, first you need two or more parts. But in this particular case, uh, we require four parts because it is a four bar mechanism, you know. So that means uh, you, you need four part files then using those four files you can we can go for the assembly okay we will see a simple assembly today then slowly in the forthcoming sessions we will be adding more complexity okay so today we are cons we, you learn what is assembly how is assembly how we can make an assembly now the exercise uh, file is say 12 you know there are 12 uh, there are actually uh, four part file and one assembly file ex 12 minus 1 part 1 minus 2 part 3 minus 3 minus 4 and so on so four different part files that we have to create then with that i can go for the assembly the file name for the assembly is also again ex the extension is different actually uh, yes, uh, SLDPRT is the extension for part file. Uh, SLDASM maybe that is the extension. Dot SLDASM is the extension for the assembly. As usual, open the SolidWorks, create a new file. Already eleven exercises we have seen in those six sessions. Uh, let me open a new file. Part file. let it be plain white and in the meantime uh, uh, some uh, viewers asked how to arrange all these uh, menus so before uh, seeing about the parts and assembly I will I'll show you see generally I will pull down all these things so initially what uh, you will have is uh, A command manager I think this alone you will be having this menu you will have command manager yes command manager this kind of menu you will have okay so in this in this bar you right click this is the command manager command manager is clicked okay so that means it is visible now so I switched off all these things okay so I selected uh, the things that I require there of uh, right from uh, this one if you see the motion manager clicked reference geometry clicked standard standard views task manager tools views um, sketch only these things uh, I have say switched on okay so like that now let me switch off this one okay let me move the standard uh, this side you can arrange wherever you want you can arrange wherever you want there is a separate uh, command bar for the assembly so this is the command bar for the assembly where is it where it is gone Yeah, this is the assembly okay but uh, we are in the part file so the assembly command bar is not required this command bar is required only when 
we draw when we do some assembly okay so assembly is possible only if we have two or more parts the simplest assembly is assembling a nut and bolt it has only two parts okay now okay we'll go back mm, let me draw yeah what is the name of this uh, this one center point straight slot so i'll be four bars you know so center point slot it is a slot the command name is a slot there are four options available so this is one option option two option three option four the curved thing also is possible okay let me try the basic one four bars you know so a hole here a hole here with that hole only i will select i am selecting these two holes these two are equal and uh, the first bar distance is say uh, let it be let it be 100 bar 1 be 100 this distance maybe what is the value here 10 okay let it be 15 the diameter of this one uh, just uh, 6 so let it be 12 then okay so the thickness may be just 5 mm let me put a different color so probably I think we started at uh, 1855 okay so this is my part one I am saving it as control s for save uh, this is our exercise 12 ex exercise 12 in that this is the first part first part 5 so ex 12 minus 1 is the first part 5 okay so part is made so if I double click it I can see all the values right so uh, I'll I'll note down the values the length alone the length center distance alone okay part 1 100 uh, for part 2 part 3 part 4 part 2 um, let it be 130 part 3 250 270 part 4 so these are the four different part files I will be creating I already created part 1 now whose center distance is whole the center distance between the holes is 100 100 mm ok let me put 100 mm ok so if it is i think uh, this will work if it is not work it is not working then we will alter the values okay because it is a parametric modeling right so everything is part. now this is exercise 12 minus 1 slide part file see i can just save as another file uh, what i can do is for the part 2 file instead of 100 i have to fix 100, 130 very simple so save as number 2 the distance for the number 2 part is not 100 130 now 130 is entered if you rebuild it you see it will be elongated now let me put, let me have a different color so this is ex part 12 5 so creating a first part alone it, it takes some time next part especially for this particular assembly for four bar mechanism so second part file is over third part file 
so you see dot sld prt is an extension for the part file dot sld drw is the extension for here itself we can see dot sld prt is extension for part for where is it no we are in the part only no so okay so that is it so part number 3 so this is part 3 let me have a different color let me have a different color what is the size of this length of the part 5 part 3 Mm, 250. Okay, so double click it, make it 250. Rebuild it. Control V or this button. Control B or this button. If you type F, fit the screen. Now this is part three. So it is a star mark is put. You know, whenever a star mark is put here, that means. you have to it is not saved completely okay you have rebuilt you have done everything but you have to save it now i am pressing control s you see after pressing control s the star will be removed that means it is saved now okay then after this point if you start editing you will get a star mark here that means you have to save you have to rebuild and you have to save so part 3 file is over then part 4 save as part 4 different color then what is the size part 4 270 enter control b star mark not saved now you save Okay, so now uh, I created four parts, four part file. The exercise is twelve minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. Four different part files were made. Now let me close this one also. Now okay. Now before uh, seeing about the assembly, uh, mechanically let me tell you one thing. Suppose if the lengths of part one and part two is equal to hundred, let it be, and part three and part four equal to two fifty. That is, these two are equal length. These two are equal length. That means again it is a four bar mechanism, but you will you will get a parallelism. A parallelism is maintained. So parallelism maintaining the parallelism is very important in the case of a mini drafter. Even if you take uh, a poke line. Uh, machines okay uh, the excavators the bucket uh, bar should be uh, the whether uh, you can individually tilt but after the tilting is uh, done if it is moving uh, the bucket angle will be constant because the uh, the parallelism is supposed to be maintained okay uh, i think uh, some of you would have noticed that one already if you haven't noticed that now you notice okay the four bar mechanism is very important in that particular case also okay now uh, i think all these files are in my 2020 folders so there are four files i selected these four i just entered i put, i press ent enter button now all the four files are were open now now if you see the wind do 1 to 4 okay tile horizontally only two files were opened why let me press on enter again one and four are open so okay so let me open two Let me open three. So one, two, three, four. Four files are opened. If I see the tile horizontal, you see uh, 
this is uh, where is one so this is one uh, this is two fit to screen fit to screen fit to screen fit to screen one two three and four okay so what is this size 270 this size 250 okay so there are four different part files now we are ready to go for the assembly we are ready to go for the assembly now first time we'll be seeing right this one right so now go to file new assembly so first time we'll be seeing that now assembly you maximize that one escape begin assembly will we can have it here so this assembly toolbar i'm keeping somewhere here okay yeah okay assembly this is the assembly toolbar let it be plain white now uh, make a note insert components so for assembly you have to use insert components command for assembly you have to use insert components command so insert component then you see already the four different files are opened you know so this is one way of uh, uh, bringing the part files into the assembly you have to get in all the part files inside this assembly this is one way the other way is tile horizontally or vertically this is the assembly file uh, page the window and these are the part files okay uh, you can drag and drop you can drag and drop you see you just uh, press uh, you, you click hold using the left button and I just drag and drop it uh, that way is also possible okay so uh, this is one way let me show this also then in the meantime before that uh, there are two things while inserting the components fix and floating fix and floating okay what do you mean by fix and floating whatever object that you are inserting first here in this exercise we have four parts the first part you are drag and drop or insert component you are doing you know so that will be for that a constraint or a, it is defined or it is constrained as a fixed component all other things are floating components what is fixed and what is floating see actually the earth our mother earth is revolving at the rate of 24 hours a day but for us we are not uh, we don't have a feel that the earth is uh, rotating right rotating and orbiting of course so uh, we are assuming that the earth is fixed or we need not uh, take that uh, big example take your own uh, room okay you are standing in inside the inside your room so room is a fixed member so uh, in that you are a floating member you can move you can walk anywhere in that room that means you are floating but room is fixed because one should be fixed with reference to that only you can define all the other thing you can define all the other thing right so that is the logic okay so at least one should be fixed with respect to that only you can have some motion you can see some movement okay uh, if it is clear you take it or otherwise you have it one out of four one should be fixed the remaining three should be float but it will be automatic uh, the system uh, solidworks software will automatically uh, the first thing you are inserting or dragging you know they it will consider that as a fixed one okay you can change that also 
okay you can change your fix as float float as fix now i prefer this way because this will be still precise i believe be based on my experience now instead of drag and drop i am using this insert component you pin it if you are not pinning it the moment you insert any one of this you know so after that uh, this command will be exited then you have to invoke that command again and again so if you pin it that becomes permanent then in that uh, i want to drag the part 3 first because uh, if uh, that is fixed then only for this particular uh, problem the motion or the animation will be better okay i do not know how to uh, explain it uh, so clearly okay uh, the third biggest let us say as far as for this is applicable only for this particular problem the third biggest ob component should be fixed the remaining three parts part 1 2 4 are floating so that is a logic so let me click this one just i move somewhere then i just i'm just pressing i'm not clicking here i'll be clicking this tick mark here in the dialog box okay so the multiple uh, this the same part can be uh, copied again and again as multiple instances in the assembly also but in this particular case so only one uh, part 3 uh, only one time only it is necessary so i am clicking the part 1 uh, now i'll be keeping somewhere here part 2 i copy it somewhere here part 3 i'll be here then escape escape now you see part 3 there is a symbol f symbol is provided for all other thing you see a minus symbol why you see if you right click it you can convert that fix as float if you right click any other thing already it is in float you can fix now the real meaning of fix it is fixed means it cannot be moved a room cannot be moved you can move inside the room a table or a chair in the room can be moved you can move but not the room because the room is fixed something like that so part number 3 is fixed which is part number 3 if you click this one this is the part number 3 now you see i just clicked and i'm just about to move but you see it says selected component is fixed it cannot be moved whereas all the other component if by click you can drag by clicking it you can drag click and hold the button you can drag because these three are floating you got the point okay then we go for real assembly for that use the command called mate use the command called mate so this is the command available for you to assemble it now let me go one by one mm. first i assemble part 1 part 2 part 4 okay assemble the mate mm, this surface mating like uh, uh, coincident this plane and that plane these are the possible mating conditions coincident parallel perpendicular tangent and many features they are at some distance all are there but uh, it uh, it is having some intelligence the software is uh, an intelligent software so it always already uh, fixed coincident as the mating condition okay if you want you can override that you can instead of coincident you can take mate uh, you can use this also but coincident alone i only we want this point of time so coincident is uh, made so that means you have to choose the two uh, uh, entities they have the two different parts 
for this part i chose i chose uh, this face for for this part i chose this face okay it can be a face it can be a point it can be a edge okay anything okay it all depends on your problem now click okay now you see these two surfaces are coincident the next mating condition is this hole and this hole you see automatically it is concentric okay so you see it has moved automatically tick now you see it will have rotation now only rotation alone is possible because it has between these two it, this member is already fixed this pre, this was previously floating so it can move anywhere it wants okay but since we added two uh, mating conditions between this and that the co uh, the coincident and the concentric because of that only the rotation alone is possible here okay now we see this one this surface and this surface coincident are already coincident is there actually so i am just right clicking it it is already coincident then this hole this hole concentric just right click because already concentric is uh, click i can click here or i can click here then this surface and this surface coincident okay or right click also possible this and this concentric the moment i click this one you see what happens in the mouse the cursor point a cursor point in the right uh, button the right button uh, there is a tick symbol okay just i right click i press the right click button so that uh, thing is uh, that uh, constant is executed automatically this all and this whole concentric that's all that's all press ok so assembly is made now assembly is made now ok so this is the front view this is the first assembly what is the thing exercise x is 12 assembly you see sld asm is the extension name file extension name for this dot sld asm you will see this one here so you see ex12 assembly sld asm okay so this is the view if you see the front view you see that now let me save now you see this will have full rotation this will have full rotation okay but this right arm have has only oscillation the smallest member will have full rotation can have full rotation but all other thing it is oscillation this is translatory because one end is rotating other end is oscillating uh, i think uh, in mechanical terms it is a translatory motion it is fixed right now if i move this one you see i cannot move further i cannot move further this one uh, pure rotation is not you see this way it is coming right so this is the only way this is the only way right so i think you learned uh, the uh, assembly of how to assemble it now i said you know the mini drafter uh, in the mini drafter and all these two lengths are equal these two lengths are equal shall we try that okay very simple very simple before that let me close all my windows after it is not required this is what is this length 100 it is 130 no i i am making it 100 
you need not uh, change uh, this value in the part if you make some changes here that will be made whether even I, I now i close the files okay but uh, next time if you open that file part file separately that will be made as 100 mm okay if i rebuild it you see this is made 100 now what is this length 250 this is 270 i think yeah make it 250 250 rebuild it control b or this one now you see this is also having rotation this is also having rotation okay uh, but uh, this is moving in a crisscross way translative motion but if you move this one a parallelism is maintained you just see that this is parallel always these two are parallel these two are parallel these two are parallel because opposite lengths are it is a parallelogram opposite lengths are equal parallelism is maintained so this is how a mini drafter is working so in the mini drafter this arm is fixed it is this arm is clamped not this so this will be fixed okay now i let me reset the values let me reset this to 270 previously and this i reset 130 rebuild it okay so everything is right now i think uh, the excess is over now let me add one more thing how to create video how to create a video from this uh, uh, from this uh, solidworks assembly so, so this is one add-on now this is the toolbar called screen what is it screen capture right click screen capture this is the command bar I kept somewhere here you can keep uh, anywhere you want but only thing is uh, here in the screen capture uh, that is a command right screen capture the command bar you can uh, capture an image or you can record a video okay image is very simple if, even if you type uh, if you use the print screen button you can capture the image okay that is not so great but uh, you can uh, create a video file but uh, the video file extension here is AVA dot AVA uh, mp4 is the latest format uh, mostly we will be using mp4 format for the video but this will create the uh, video in dot AVA uh, mostly I think this won't work uh, in uh, in a normal player even uh, I don't know whether the Windows player will play AV. Windows player will play AV, I think, but not the not most of the players. Okay, we'll check that also. But uh, many converters are available in the mark in, in the net. Okay, uh, in the, you can convert from AV to any other format. There are empty number of formats. The most uh, thing uh, format is uh, even uh, if you want to use it in smartphone, uh, WhatsApp uh, groups uh, through WhatsApp if you want to think as far as image is concerned jpeg is the default format especially for the whatsapp for the video mp4 is the default format okay so this is the button for recording a video it will be stored in the same folder you see exercise 12 assembly dot avi avi is the format avi is the format uh, let me save the moment I click OK, it start recording the screen as a video. Now it started. It started recording. It started recording. Now let me rotate this one. 
yeah then this one translatory then 360 degree rotation isometric view everything is recorded now what uh, how to stop it use this button it will be stopped it is stopped now now you see that where is it yeah ex12 assembly dot ava file has been created let me right click it let me try to open with vlc player or windows media player okay windows media player let me try with windows media player let me see whether i am able to see that or not yeah you see that a video is created so uh, this is very useful i believe uh, you can uh, use it for your presentation purposes this is available under the solidworks this ava file is working of course in um, media player windows media player not here open with this will not uh, work in uh, films and tv in windows 10 the default player is films uh, films and tv uh, this will not work i think vlc media player and uh, windows media player these two things will work okay so i summarize in day 7 solidworks assembly basic you need two or more files our exercise the four bar mechanism so four bars four parts then assembly insert components while inserting the first one is considered as a fixed member all other things are floating member use the mating command do the proper assembly okay then additionally we see saw about how to create a video also okay so as usual i will i will copy all these things i will copy the these four files assembly file ava file as a zip file then i will uh, put it uh, those things uh, uh, under the description as the link by clicking in the link you can download the zip file okay you can use it for your work okay so uh, i think uh, you uh, you understood the concepts of uh, assembly in solidworks okay uh, this is sufficient for today's uh, session uh, if you like it you please uh, subscribe my channel uh, more importantly uh, then uh, you uh, inform this particular uh, thing to your uh, friends and uh, students and other uh, classmates okay who are needs uh, the solvax so let them get the get the information from my sessions about solvax okay thank you